Hi guys, welcome to our first video of 2021. I'm Rui. And I'm Sandra. And this is our YouTube channel. In this video, we will recap all the videos that we uploaded during 2020 and also let you know some of the new projects for 2021. But before we start, don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel. You can also help the channel by using the affiliate links posted below in the video description. The first video of 2020 was a recap of 2019 and we started our tests and reviews with the JG Aurora A5S printer. We have yet another model from this manufacturer that we will test soon, so don't miss it. As we did in 2019, in 2020 we tested another multifunction machine. This time it was the new EQ Maker Toy DIY 4-in-1, which in addition to being a dual-color 3D printer, it also has a head for CNC engraving and another for laser engraving. Regarding the EQ Maker machines, we have an update planned, so stay tuned to our channel. In March, we tested our first Arthur printer, the Arthur 4 V1. It's a printer with some interesting features and it's already equipped with a leveling sensor and cable tracks. But you can see all the details in our review, so check the link below in the video description. In the following months, we decided to do some tutorials and in between, we printed some face shields. The first tutorial of 2020 was about Octoprint. In it, you will find everything you need to know to start using this tool. Like all the necessary material, the installation step-by-step, -step, the most common problems and how to solve them, and also a list of plugins that you can add. In mid-April, we decided to make a more fun DIY where we explain how to build a mini arcade machine that was fully functional. The cabinet was all 3D printed and for the electronics, we used Raspberry Pi with RetroPie. It was a very fun project and we have already spent several hours playing some vintage games. Next, we did another tutorial and this time with upgrades for the Creality Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. In this video, we showed the new boards from MakerBase, the Robin E3 and E3D, and we explained in detail how to install them. The differences between the two boards are also mentioned, as well as the results obtained with each one. With the release of the 2.0 version of Marlin firmware, several questions were raised and there were many myths associated. For that reason, we decided to make a video where we clarify all the details about this new version and its installation. The next videos that were published are two very important tutorials for the guys that are starting in the world of 3D printing and need to make the first adjustments to the printer. The first one explains in detail what eccentric nuts are and how to properly adjust them. The second one shows all the necessary steps to level the print bed with the added bonus of the mesh bed leveling function explanation and how to enable it. Meanwhile, MakerBase launched the new Pad7 and we made a video with its analysis and review. For the installation, we use Artivo Nero's and our Creality Ender 3. This display has some very interesting features and it even includes a slicer, but you can see all the details in our video. Going back to the reviews, we did the analysis of the Creality Ender 5, including the detail assembly, calibrations, and we also show all the test prints. We didn't have time to test the Ender 5 Pro, but we plan to do it this year. In 2020, the Green Tivo Tarantula Pro that was released in 2019 was replaced by a new orange version, the Omer's Odysseus. In this video, 
We unboxed the new version and made an initial comparison with the previous one. Although the assembly of this printer is similar with the previous version, this year we will make a detailed assembly video. A review of the Tarantula RS is also planned. Also in 2020, Creality launched the new Ender 3 V2. This printer has some improvements when compared with the previous models, like a 32-bit board with TMC drivers, a color display, XMY belt tensioners, etc. We published several videos about this new printer, such as the step-by-step -step of the assembly and calibrations, the review, and also a tutorial on how to update the firmware. After the release of the new Ender 3 V2, Creality implemented some changes to the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro models, replacing the old 8-bit boards with 32-bit boards. Now, both Ender 3 and Pro are equipped from stock with the same boards as the V2. But unlike the V2, the drivers on these boards are the Allegro ones. This change means that the firmware update procedure on the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro is now different. And for that reason, we made a specific tutorial for this situation. And from all the videos that we published in 2020, this was the one that had more views. And it's the installation of the new SKR Mini E3 2.0 board on a Creality Ender 3. This is one of the most popular upgrades for the Ender 3 and in this video you have access to the entire procedure for installing this board as well as the TFT35 and BL Touch. All the differences between the SKR Mini E3 1.2 and the new 2.0 are also mentioned. Another new item from Big Tree Tech was the Pi TFT50 display. This new display works connected to a Raspberry Pi and uses the Octo BTT interface. It can be used together with the printer's display or as a replacement. We made a video with the installation guide and the display review. And then a second video where we explain how to install other interfaces besides Octo BTT, such as Octo Dash, Octo Screen, and Repetier Server. Back in January 2019, we published the first detailed review of the new Artillery Sidewinder X1. In the meantime, the brand made some changes to the machine, and we decided in the fall of 2020 to update our review. So, we published a new video where we compare the first version launched on the market with the one that is currently being sold. 2020 was a year in which lots of 3D printers also appeared on Kickstarter, and we had the chance to test some of them. The first was the BQBX. The BQBX is a printer with very interesting features, such as a large display with direct connection for a Raspberry Pi, magnetic steel sheet, 0.9 degrees stepper motors, leveling sensor, TMC's 2226 drivers, belt tensioners for the X and Y axis, etc. In October, we published a video with the unboxing and first analysis of this printer. And at the end of the year, we published the full review of our beta unit. Another new 3D printer on Kickstarter was the Widow X40, an IDEX printer that also promises to have good results. In 2020, we only had the opportunity to launch the video with the unboxing and first analysis. But now, in 2021, we will continue the tests and publish our review. And have you ever wanted to print something but didn't know what? That's why we decided to make this video and show you some of our favorite designers. In it, we will find many free models and all of them very interesting. So take a look. In November, we reviewed another 3D printer from Two Trees, the Bluer Plus. This printer, in addition to having a big printing volume, 
when compared to previous models, also has some extras such as leveling sensor, magnetic steel sheet, TMC drivers, filament sensor, etc. But you can see all the details in our video. And have you ever imagined turning your 3D printer into a kitchen tool? In that case, you need to watch our video about the new Cakewalk 3D. Cakewalk 3D is a kit that was available on Kickstarter and was designed to transform traditional filament printers into a kitchen tool that allows you to extrude food. In this video, you can see how to assemble this kit on a Creality Ender 3 and see the results of the first tests. And that's it! These were all the videos that we published during the year 2020. Many more were planned, but there was no time for everything, so keep your eyes on the channel, because we will continue to work to always bring you new and interesting content about the world of 3D printing. And we started 2021 testing another Kickstarter product, the RevoPoint Pop 3D Scanner. So stay tuned, because very soon we will publish more news. And stay safe, you guys! Bye!